Welcome to Castle in the Air. Today we'll be making crepe paper roses. For this tutorial, you will need one fold of the deep olive doublet, one fold of the buttercream doublet, and one roll of ombre florist crepe in rose, flamingo, or sunset. You will also need Mod Podge gloss, a leaned tacky glue, a small brush, a flat stiff bristle brush, glass glitter in gold or copper, four pieces of 18 gauge wire, four pieces of 22 gauge wire, and a pair of Kai scissors. It's also helpful to have a plate with a wet towel to wipe your sticky fingers. Preparing your petals. First, unroll your ombre florist crepe paper and make three accordion folds. Each fold will be approximately two and a half inches wide. Then cut the accordion folded section away from the rest of the roll. Next, use your rose petal template as a guide to cut five sections down the length of your accordion fold. Be sure to work vertically and cut your sections across the grain. Then, take each section and use your rose petal template to cut the shape of your petals. Each section will take five petals. In the end, this process will yield 25 rose petals. Creating your petal curves. You're going to use your scissors or a rounded instrument, such as a pencil, to create your rose petal curves. Place the rose petal between your thumb and your rolling instrument. Pulling the petals away from you will create a curve to each petal. Take each petal, holding the petal at the base, pinching with your thumbs and forefingers, you will press and pull apart gently, creating a depression or cup shape. Each petal curve will look similar to the shape of a potato chip. Repeat this process with all of your rose petals. Now for the stamens, take your buttercream doublet and cut a strip that measures three inches wide going across the grain and one and a half inches in height. Next, take this strip and fold it in half lengthwise two times. When using your scissors, cut a series of matchstick thin slits down the grain of your folded strip. You'll want to only cut three-fourths of the way down to make sure you maintain the integrity of your crepe paper strip. Then, you will twist each matchstick slit between your fingers. What you will end up with is a strip for your stamens that looks like this. Next, apply glue along the uncut length of the strip. Then wrap the stamen strip along the tip of an 18 gauge wire. Keeping the stamen twist extended beyond the tip, wrap the glued portion of stamen strip tightly but gently around the wire. Glitter Pollen First, squeeze the stamen tips together. Then dab your stamen tips lightly into a dish of tacky glue. Next, dab your stamen tips in glitter, stippling very gently. And from there, you'll have your glittered pollen. Separate a few of the stamen tips that have clumped together and set it aside for a few minutes to dry. Constructing your rose. Start with your lighter colored petals. Take your first petal and dot the inside base with tacky glue. Then, you will attach the rose petal to the base of the stamens. Pinch and squeeze carefully, but firmly, to mold the petal around the stamen base. Then apply glue to your next petal and attach overlapping by one half to one third over the previous petal. Continue the same process with the rest of your petals, working your way around the stem, continuing to pinch and bind the petals tightly around the rose as you go along. Calyx. You're going to cut across the grain of your deep olive crepe paper, cutting a two inch square of paper. Make quarter inch accordion folds, following the grain of the doublet. You will end up with a five ply folded piece of crepe paper. Then you will freehand cut the shape of your calyx. The calyx shape looks similar to a skinny submarine. You'll want to be careful not to cut through the base of the calyx.
After cutting out your calyx shape, add two symmetrical triangular slits to each side of your calyx. If you've done this properly, you'll end up with a five-fingered connected calyx strip. Now we're ready to connect the calyx. Dot glue along the base of the calyx. Gently adhere the calyx to the base of your flower. Evenly space the five calyx fingers around the rose, pinching and pulling the calyx as necessary. Making your crepe paper floral tape. Take your shears and cut across the top of your entire fold of deep olive doublet crepe paper, creating a quarter inch wide floral tape strip. Then dot the first few inches of the floral tape with the tacky glue. Now attach the glued end of your floral tape to the base of your rose. Working your way down, tightly wrap the floral tape down the entire length of the stem. Leaves. Cut a strip that's 12 inches in length by 3 inches in width. Then fold your strip in half twice. Cut out the four equal squares from your folds. Take your first two squares. Holding the paper so that the grain runs vertically, make a diagonal cut from the bottom right to top left corner. With your last two squares, make a diagonal cut from the top right corner to the bottom left. Now that you have your triangles cut, swap one set of triangles with your second set of triangles. Then line up two paired triangle pieces to make a chevron pattern square. The grain of the triangles should meet each other forming a V pattern down the seam where they meet. Now we're going to glue the two halves together. Apply a small amount of glue down the diagonal cut. Then join the triangles together along their diagonal cuts. You should end up with a nice center seam with the grains forming a downward pointed chevron pattern. Using your leaf template, cut out your leaf shape. Then cut a series of small triangle nicks along the outside edge of the leaf. After this process, you should end up with a rose leaf with serrated edges. Do this process three times for a sprig of three leaves. Next, squeeze a small amount of glue down the seam in the center of your rose leaf. Then you'll apply the 22 gauge wire down the fold of the leaf. Gently press the wire into the leaf fold. Leaf stem tape. Cut a thin strip of your olive crepe paper about 1 8 of an inch wide by 12 inches in height. Dot glue to one end of the tape. Then wrap the leaf stem tape around the length of the 22 gauge wire. To construct the leaf sprig, stack the leaves one on top of the other with the right sides facing the same direction. The top two leaves should be flush with one another, but slightly lower than the bottom leaf, which will be the center leaf of the sprig. Using the stem tape, bind the leaves together, starting a couple of centimeters from the base of the leaves. Fan the leaves apart so that the top two leaves flank the bottom leaf on either side symmetrically. Binding leaf sprig to central stem. Taking the stem tape, dot one end with glue and begin wrapping at the base of the calyx, working your way down, pulling the tape gently as you go along. When you get to about three inches below the base of the rose, bind the base of your leaf sprig with the same stem tape. Continue down the length of the stem until you have covered all of the wire using additional stem tape if required. Glossing your rose leaves. 
Apply a coat of Mod Podge to your leaves. Brush the Mod Podge gently so that you apply an even coat, being careful not to oversaturate the leaf. And there you have your crepe paper rose. So hopefully the steps that I've shared with you in this tutorial will help you get started in creating your own colorful crepe paper rose garden. And if you need help with any supplies or additional steps to creating your own crepe paper blossoms, please visit the website at castleintheair.biz. And here's wishing you a happy start in your crepe paper gardening. Mm -hmm.